Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to show you this adorable Ipsy bag and what I got inside it for the month of February 2016. Apologies if you can hear my dishwasher. I had to do dishes and I had to film this video because I'm going out of town on vacation. So I'm pre-filming a few videos for you guys so I don't miss uploading anything. But yeah, I am so excited to be sharing this bag with you today. First things first though, if you're brand new, welcome. Please hit that little red subscribe button down below. I would truly appreciate it. That way you'll be notified anytime I post new videos, which is typically twice a week. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So as always, it comes with a little card and I am a dum dum and only just realized that they each bag actually has a theme. I didn't think that they did. I thought it was just kind of like, oh, we're including this card and it just says a little bit like, how you can post out glam bag, you know, whatever. Um, but it actually does have a theme, so, duh, Amy, like, come on. Um, so this month's theme is pretty in ipsy pink. Super cute. Of course, it's for Valentine's Day, and February is the month of love, so we have this adorable little envelope bag with a heart. It's cool. It's kind of pixelated, if you can tell. And then the back is just like a hot pink vinyl. Very, very cute. So, yes, I'm super excited to show you what's in here. For the most part, it's pretty good, um, but you'll see why it's not my favorite in a second. Okay, so first thing is by Naked Cosmetics, and it is a pigment, a mica pigment, pigment to be exact. And it is by, oh, like I said, Naked Cosmetics. The color is Sierra Nevada. So I will open it up and give you a little look-see. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to tell without me dumping it, but you can kind of get a sense. It's kind of a chocolatey brown with some sparkle. Let me see if I can get some off the cap. I'll see if I can... There we go. Okay, so you can see here, really beautiful color. Super pigmented, obviously, because it's a pigment. Um, I know... Ooh, it's very, very soft. I literally just like made the biggest dent in it when I put my finger in there gorgeous gorgeous pigment this is so pretty you can't see too much of the sparkle but it really is quite beautiful I'm trying to see kind of the best way to show it to you yeah it's just really really pretty super soft um, just like a beautiful beautiful pigment I have never used any Naked Cosmetics pigments before. I actually don't think I've any, ever used any of their products. So I'm super excited to try this. I know pigments are typically worn wet, so you'd like wet your brush, dip it in here, and then put it on. So yes, I am super excited about this pigment. You can kind of see that there. I now have it all over the place, all over my hands. So I'm just going to grab a wipe really quickly to wipe that up. But yeah, I think pigments are just beautiful on the eyes so I'm really looking forward to having one so that is the first item and a great item at that okay the next item is from trust fun beauty um, if you watched my recent allure unboxing for I believe last month January they sent us a full size of the trust fun beauty nail polish um, and this is also another nail polish and I really liked it. I wore it on my, my fingers. It lasted for a few good days before chipping so I really liked it. Um, this is the color I'm kind of a big deal. This really cute pretty pink perfect for love and Valentine's Day and February even though Valentine's Day is over. Um, really cute color. I actually probably could have put it on my nails now my nails are gross and I hate not having polish on them. Is anybody else like that? Is anybody else just like has to have their nails painted at all times? Anyway, so I will probably use this tonight but it's super super cute and I love the color and I know this is a good brand because I've tried it. So that is the second item. So far so good. Okay, the next item is the item I am completely disappointed with. It's a nail file. <laughs> you guys, I don't know how many times I have to say it. I don't want any more nail files. Um, this one is actually not terrible. I think it's like a thick plastic. Um, it's by Margaret Dabbs, London. Thick plastic. It's actually a really nice one, durable. You see it doesn't bend. It's not like that cheapy drugstore one that you can get for like 99 cents. However, I have so many nail files. 
I think they're one of those things you either have a billion of them or you have none. And of course I always seem to have none when I need them, like at the airport or something like that. But I have so many at my house and I don't use them. Like I have a couple that I really, really like and so I don't really use them. Um, I'll give this one a try to see if it's any better than other ones. Actually, I'll try it right now because my nails could use a good file. There's also something about like plastic rubbing against my nail that kind of gives me the shivers. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's nice. It's not bad. I, I prefer, though, kind of just the regular, like, emery boards. So, yes, this is the product I am pretty disappointed with just because I, I don't need any more nail files. I'd much rather get, like, a brush or a, some makeup product or just anything else but a nail file. So, um, part of it's probably my fault. I probably need to go and update my profile where it shows, like, you know, if you don't want beauty tools or what. But, yeah, so this is the next item. Two more items left. The next one is a lip gloss, and it is by Vintage by Jessica. Oh my gosh, it's hard to read. Liebskind? L I E B E S K I N D. I probably said that so wrong, and you can't even read it. But it looks to be a very pretty pink with some shimmer in it, some like gold flecks. Um, the color is pink sequin, so very fitting. Let's open it up and give it a swatchy swatch. It does look really pretty and it's a decent size for lip gloss. I feel like lip glosses, you know, I have so many I'm never going to be able to get through them all so I don't mind the little sample sizes of them. Okay. Ooh, very interesting. It's got kind of a brush applicator. You can see that. And then let's see what the color looks like. Very sheer, but you can definitely see that shimmer. So as you can see, very sheer nude pink. There's definitely the shimmer in there though, which I really like. I don't mind a little bit of shimmer on the lips. So yeah, very pretty. I am super excited to use this. I think it's really gorgeous. Okay, and the last item is from Smashbox, and it's their new Photo Finish Primer Oil. This is what the full size looks like. And they just give you a baby size, teeny tiny, but it is definitely enough to give it a try. Um, I don't think there's really anything much to say about this. It just seems to be an oil that increases your um, skin's moisture. You can use it morning or night, and you let it absorb into your skin before applying your makeup. So it really is what it says it is. I don't really know... I guess you can just dump it out to apply it, dump it on your hand. So this is neat. I've never tried a primer oil before. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm used to using kind of cream primers and mineral primers and things like that, and even spray primers, but primer oil, I just, I feel like it would make my skin super oily and not make my makeup stay on, like it'd make my makeup slide. So we'll have to see how it goes. But yeah, that's the last product in this month's bag. So I hope you guys like this video and this cute little bag. If you have any questions about Ipsy, it's $10. I'll leave some information below and I'll also leave a code where you can get, or a, a link where you can get your own Ipsy bag. Um, thank you for watching. Again, please subscribe. I would truly, truly appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye.